For more than a year, what caused the fire to break out aboard the amphibious assault ship Bonham Richard in July 2020 has remained a mystery. But in recent weeks, Big Navy released its command investigation into the disaster, a nearly week-long fire that eventually sent the flat top to the scrap heap. That command investigation found a raft of failures both among the ship's crew and ashore at Naval Base San Diego. Sailors on board were undertrained to fight a shipyard fire, and the Bonnie Dix fire suppression systems were not properly maintained. Ashore, confusion abounded, and the base's firefighting department proved unable to effectively coordinate the fire response with the ship's crew. The investigation also found that random choices cascaded this disaster. After the crew had evacuated the ship in the early hours of the blaze, the command duty officer cut power to the ship because he believed they were dealing with an electrical fire. But this in turn cut the juice to the ship's fire suppression systems and the blaze was allowed to spread throughout the amphib. The Navy charged Seaman recruit Ryan Sawyer Mays with intentionally starting the fire on the Bonham Richard earlier this year. An Article 32 hearing will be held in late November to decide whether the charges will ultimately be taken to court martial. So while an allegedly disgruntled junior sailor is accused of starting the blaze aboard the Bonham Richard, the investigation found that a host of systemic failures across many Navy echelons ultimately killed the ship. To learn a bit more about the Bonham Richard fire and systemic failings that led to the amphibs demise, we're joined by Larry Brennan. He's a retired Navy captain and a professor of law at the Fordham University School of Law. He was also part of the investigative team that dived into the 1981 fire on the uh, deck of the aircraft carrier Nimitz. Larry, thanks for joining us. Appreciate being invited, Jeff. Good to talk to you. So we had the command investigation released in recent weeks, as well as this major fires review that looked at a variety of shipboard fires over the past 12 years or so. What do these documents say to you about the state of maintenance in Navy shipyards today? Being in a shipyard always is a difficult risk for a vessel and the people responsible for the vessel in the shipyard, uh, whether it's a long side pier, as in the case of Bonham Richard, or in a graving dock, dry dock, or being constructed. We can go through decades of history and it's a problem. Uh, one of the difficulties is what are the available sources to fight a fire? What are the available personnel? Uh, one of the tragic inexplicable problems here is the shoreside fire department nozzles and, and hoses didn't easily connect with the fixtures on board ship. Uh, inexplicable. No reason that that happens. And that's not the CO's fault. That's not the fire marshal's fault on board Bonham Richard. It, it's a systemic problem. And that's where we have to look. And I think we need a deep probe into systemic issues as opposed to just personal accountability. We've had too many problems too often. Uh, and we look and look at the same same thing. We need to see what we, we have and what we need to add to it, whether it's people, machinery, sensors, remote activated things, it, it's complex. We do a great job at fighting fire at sea. We don't do a good job at preventing and fighting fire in, in the yard. You know, this is not the first time in recent memory where uh, the US Navy has lost a capital vessel in this kind of needless shipyard environment, a peacetime environment to lose this asset is, is so unthinkable for so many. You go back to the submarine USS Miami in 2012, which also, you know, fatally burned to a point where they, you know, the Navy had to scrap that vessel as well. There was a raft of reforms put in place after that disaster. You know, wh why do you think reforms after such a similar disaster weren't cemented? Because we don't have an implementing system of priority. We're a warfighting community and we're really good at fighting war. I think we're really good at fighting fires at sea on flight decks and in other spaces and engine rooms. We've built lots of systems and they're highly remote, highly technical, and they're torn apart in the shipyard. We need a czar of some sort, if that's an appropriate word, but we need a leader to be responsible for understanding, managing, studying, implementing, and following up on the shipyard ships in the shipyard issues. Can you paint a picture for our viewers of 
what the interior of a ship like the Bonnie Dick uh, looks like when it's in the yards in terms of just the, the junk and the crap everywhere, the cables. Can you kind of give our viewers a, a sense of what that, what that environment is like? Two things. One, your question is important because we have to understand that ships are designed essentially like uh, checkerboards or, uh, <clears throat> or a uh, crossword puzzle horizontally and vertically. And each compartment is designed, A, to be able to control and respond to a fire. So you can button up the ship. That's not true in the case of the LHDs uh, like Bonham Richard with the, uh, the well deck and the V and the area where the arsonist apparently started the fire, according to that investigation. Uh, what a ship in a shipyard like, especially for a long time, is like my room when I was a kid. Uh, it's just a bunch of mess. And, and the reports in this case, long, you know, long before this week were that it was a series of fire hazards that should not and cannot have been accepted. Part of the shock of the Bonham Richard fire for anybody watching was its inconceivability. How could a modern American warship burn so furiously for days while in port during peacetime? In addition to the Bonham Richard command investigation, the Navy released a so-called major fires review that took a more historical approach and looked at a series of shipboard fires over the past decade or so. That major fires review found many of the same issues that plagued the Bonnie Dick. Undertrained skeleton crews in the yards, inadequate shipyard infrastructure, and shore-based fire departments unprepared for such a conflagration. The Navy is now promising a series of reforms to prevent another Bonham Richard type disaster. We'll be following them to see where those reforms lead.